Well, I've heard that there have been white tips spotted in this area. And what I want to do, I want to um, just put some pure sound in the water. I don't want any, any scent, I don't want any visual stimulus, just sound and, and uh, see if anything actually responds to that. I've got all the equipment on board and uh, I'll just leave the main boat a little bit further behind. Then I'll get the speaker in the water. As the name suggests, oceanic white tips are true open ocean predators. They are able to travel huge distances between feeding when prey is scarce. In the vast expanses of water they travel through, they are constantly on the alert for any unusual occurrence. I'm going to test whether sound in the water can bring sharks in to investigate the source. I'm putting a low frequency tone through the speaker. A shark's hearing is adapted to very low frequency vibrations, such as those made by struggling prey. The sound from this speaker has an underwater range of around 800 feet, spreading out in three dimensions, that equates to over 80 million cubic feet of water. Now, all I have to do is wait. just broke the surface right here, right here, right here. It's a lone oceanic white tip. And it's coming in. And it's just feet away from the speaker. It's actually just within three feet of the speaker. But one lone shark doesn't prove my theory. One here. Pin out of the water. Right, there was just one. I think, you know, there's, there's at least two now. Ah, right, right by the speaker, just two, three feet away. I think if I was actually in the water, that would be very ominous to see that. I mean, I'm... I'm safely, or relatively safely, clear of the water at the moment, but um, these sharks are definitely interested. They've come in from, I don't know where they were, but they've come in to check out this situation. And the sharks aren't leaving. They're sticking close to the speaker. The sharks are circling. They're just hearing the sound and they are, they're circling me. I'm encouraged that this experiment appears to be working, but I'm now surrounded by sharks longer than my tiny kayak. I'm a little worried they're becoming too interested in me. right here, fin on the surface, going down. I get the feeling that I'm being followed. I think one of the creepiest things is actually the fact that, you know, when you're diving, you've got a mask, you can actually see clearly. When you're above the surface, the surface is broken like this. You just see that very ghostly gray shape. Oh, here's one right here, right here, right here. I've drawn in oceanic white tip sharks from a distance. But without an obvious food source, they've started to turn their attention to the kayak. 
it's time to turn the speaker off. Eventually, the sharks lose interest in both the speaker and my kayak. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the River Monsters page.